What's up guys, PPD here and welcome to another episode of the Trophy Cabinet. Today's tournament is the Kings League Cup and the requirements for this tournament were to have six Saudi Arabian League players in the starting 11. So that meant you had room for five other players that weren't in that league. So I went ahead, just built like a Brazilian with a touch of Uruguay team right there and I thought it was a pretty good team. I was pretty happy with how it came out. And we headed into the final, and our opponent had a very strange team. Uh, 63 chemistry, but he did have the requirements in the midfield and on his uh, fullbacks. And then he had some very good players in the strike force and in the defense. So it was a little bit interesting to see this team in the final, but not going to underestimate him because that is what we have done in before. But this episode... I actually want to have like a talk with you guys like I don't want to talk about the gameplay for now because I actually want to tell you guys about the future of the series so I thought of this idea the trophy cabinet uh, back in FIFA like at the end of FIFA 15 and I thought it was gonna be a great idea because and nobody else really plays the tournaments in FIFA so I said you know what it'd be a quite a good challenge to try out every single tournament and see how we do well I did it this whole year, FIFA 16, and it didn't go as well as I thought it would because, first of all, I don't think that many people watch as much as the Road to City, and second of all, there's a lot of problems, and I'm going to get into those problems right now. The first problem being time. Now, t what I mean by time is the, the time limit on the tournaments, it's either, I've noticed a pattern actually recently, it's two days two days three days and then it goes back to two days except those times that he did those tournaments that were like a week long but there's not enough time for me because obviously I can't just spend my whole life playing FIFA which is kind of what I've been doing this whole year because of this series and it's really really stressful when it comes to that because there's not enough time to play the tournaments maybe I'm just saying that because I'm not good enough but I just feel like two days three days for a tournament that you can barely find an opponent in is really bad but that's only one of the problems the second problem is the rewards now I don't really care about the rewards because the objective of this series was to fill up the trophy cabinet and nothing more but the rewards for these tournaments are absolutely terrible and like you try so hard to find a game you end up playing a very stressful final and you win and then you get like a pack that gives you nothing it's really unrewarding, and I know it's probably going to change for FIFA 17. There's going to be some really good rewards, but I just can't keep playing these tournaments, guys. It's way too stressful, and another reason I don't want to continue this is the requirements. The requirements are obviously very dodgy. This tournament is a great example for that. Why did EA make the tournament a Saudi Arabian League, uh, Saudi Arabian League themed, but then make the requirements only to have six from those that league in the starting 11. Why not just make the full starting 11 from that league? No, it gives you room to bring on players like Neymar, Messi, or not like what? That completely ruins the purpose of the tournament. That is just one problem. There's obviously more. Another one I mentioned before, you can't find games in these tournaments. It honestly has taken me Sometimes it's taken me like two or three hours just to find a game in like a semi-final or a final, which is ridiculous. Nobody wants to play these tournaments because the rewards are terrible, the requirements are terrible, and sometimes you, and that's another thing I just remembered, you have to pay stupid prices for some tournaments. Like, let's say they do, well this one actually is a pretty good example, the Saudi Arabian one. I had to pay a hefty amount of coins for some of these players because people just buy them as soon as the tournament comes up and it goes up in price so that's annoying and I feel like that's one of the reasons a lot of people don't play I remember back when they did the Iceland Cup the prices for like the Iceland players were at the cap and it was just ridiculous you had to pay about 100k for an I Iceland team which is just ridiculous another thing that's wrong with this is it messes with my upload schedule I like to upload every two days if I can and with the tournament coming out, let's say it comes out on a Monday, I don't win it until like Wednesday. I can't upload it on Friday because I have to do either the Road to City or I have to play another tournament and it just messes up the schedule. And this is why the Kingsley Cup, I'm pretty sure I played this like two weeks ago and I only have time to upload it right now. And that's just so annoying. I hate having to do that because I like it being as fresh as possible, but it ends up being days or weeks late, which is very annoying. And another problem is 
the trophy cabinet itself. We can't even access the trophy cabinet. If you try to go to your club and whatever and actually try to look at your trophies, you can't. Your Xbox or your PlayStation freezes, your game freezes, whatever it is. And I've tried multiple times. I just can't seem to access it. I did get to access it early on in the year and I'm not sure why but now it just doesn't work and it actually happened in FIFA 15 too I think I told you guys back when I did the Rose to Glory that I couldn't even access the trophy cannon so that is very annoying like once again annoying my luck they're probably gonna fix it for FIFA 17 but it's just so annoying and then the biggest problem of all is stress this series the goal is just to play every tournament I don't have to win every tournament I just have to play it but after you go on like a 5 winning streak, a 10 game winning streak, or a 10 tournament streak, whatever, you start to get a little bit annoyed if you're not winning it. So this series became more of a, you have to play it than, I mean more you have to win it than you have to play it to me. So when there was like a day left or a couple hours left and I still hadn't won the tournament, I was thinking to myself, oh this is way too stressful, like I, I wanted to play FIFA non-stop until I can do that and obviously too much of anything is bad and I just have forced myself to play FIFA when I don't want to and it's just way too stressful so that's why this series will be coming to an end and I'm sad that it has to come to an end like this but I just can't keep playing FIFA like this especially when there's only two days to play the tournament anyways guys we win that trophy we get a mystery pack that was a pretty crazy game by the way eight to three we were down three one at one point so we go ahead and open the mystery pack and this isn't the last episode guys don't worry about that there is actually going to be i think three more episodes or four and then that will be the end of that so anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys understand my reasoning for having to end this see uh, the series with even a month left i just can't continue playing this game the game is dead and anyways guys that is going to conclude this episode of the trophy cabinet this has been the king's league cup my name is pibbidid and i'm out